In an attempt to accelerate the phasing out of fossil fuels, the world's shifting its focus on nuclear energy. We see nuclear energy as vital to tackling the climate crisis and building a clean, resilient and reliable energy economy, both in the United States and around the world. It's why the United States co-led a bold pledge with more than 20 countries at COP28 to triple global nuclear energy capacity by 2050. And the main source of nuclear energy, uranium, is now in higher demand than ever before. Because of this, the price has doubled uh, in, in last year or two. And then the dependence of U.S. on Russian uranium, that's another reason that they are looking at uranium mining more in the United States and also in the, in the other part of the world. Production resumed this month in three previously closed mines outside Arizona's Grand Canyon National Park, despite strong opposition from adjacent Native American communities concerned about their water and other natural resources. And if we don't do a good job, it's going to really damage the environment, the water and the air and the people that they live around that. The company Energy Fuels operating under the state's aquifer protection permit, argues there is no evidence of any environmental hazard. But indigenous communities have faced multiple cases of environmental catastrophes on tribal lands over the past decade. Many indigenous peoples in the United States perceive a lack of ge general lack of consideration on the future impacts on their lands in approving extractive industry projects in particular and a lack of recognition that they face significant impacts from the development of not just their own, but neighboring resources as well. Despite its own risks, nuclear power has the potential to scale up our clean energy capacity to fight climate change. But the extraction of raw materials may not be so clean, as some U.S. tribes worry about losing their only water source. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.